I think that um, in today's world, people think that they're kind of one kind of thinker. So when you do something that crosses these boundaries, I think it reminds everyone that humans are very multifaceted people. I thought it would be great if we could have a ballet on, on some of the molecular motion. A lot of people were surprised by this collaboration. And so, and for me, this was natural. <laughs> we're talking about molecular motion. So let's start with a, with a simple crystal where everything is, is ordered. All the dancers are on a grid, but they don't stay there fixed. And then you can imagine that you are raising the temperature by some external knob that you have in your lab. So the first part is solid crystal, which is the crystals in the grid. Then part two is liquid crystal. And as the temperature goes up and up and up, then they will finally melt. Melting is that they will make such motion from away from their own site, the grid, that they will not keep their solid structure anymore. And the third one is even more complex, is that you take this molten liquid and then you quickly cool it. And then they may not go back to this crystal state. You express the same beauty in a different format. I think the real creative things, the, the real big splashes can only come this way when you think totally outside of the box.